everyone, my name is Chloe and today I'm here to do my July in and out. So if you have not seen one of these videos, basically what this is is a little haul for the month and an unhaul because every month I try to, I'm really trying to read off my shelves and so then if I don't love a book, normally if it's three stars or under, I will get rid of it, but sometimes three stars get to stay, it's kind of iffy. Um, so. That let's just get into it. This month, the numbers don't look great. I have 20 that I'm hauling and five that I'm unhauling, but I think I only bought two. The rest are gifts from my mom or my sister um, or were sent to me by the publisher, and I also won one book. And so the numbers don't look great, but I also read 15 books off my shelf, and some of these books I have already read, that, and they were gifts from my mom or sister. And so they're not going on my TBR. So it all boils down to I'm pretty much replacing the books, the 15 that I read off my shelves. I think I'm kind of filling them in, but we'll see. So let's go in and first do the haul part. So my sister, she, like, if you have not seen these videos, she is what I call the book fairy because she is just, she likes to buy books, but then she reads them and unhauls them. And a couple of authors she said she will never get rid of, and she decided to get rid of them. And so I am so blessed to be the recipient of these authors. So let's just start. The first um, set that she gave me were all Richard Paul Evans. So if you don't know who he is, he writes quite a few Christmas books. And they're all just little and adorable. Um, let's see, compared to a, a regular size book, these are, they're, well, they're definitely smaller um, and the text is, is, um, bigger, you know, these are very, very quick, very sweet. So we have Finding Noel, A Winter Dream, uh, The Noel Diary, and I don't know if these two are related or not. I didn't look into these books like at all because, um, Christmas and july -thon was this month, and so I got these and wanted to read them, but I also wanted to haul them first, and I just, I had enough Christmas books anyway, so I didn't end up reading them, but I will for sure this winter. And then the last is Grace by Richard Paul Evans. So, um, he is so great. I have read quite a few of his, and I really enjoy his writing, so I'm so great grateful to have these. And so, on the Christmas front, because she also participated in Christmas and july -thon, so I think she read most of these this July and then passed them on, and then she also gave me The Christmas Sisters by Sarah Morgan, and I have read this one. I read it, I think, last year, um, maybe the year before, whatever year it came out, I'm not sure, and I loved it, so this will be going on my red shelf. That is my favorite Sarah Morgan Christmas, and she is coming out with another one this year, and I requested it on NetGalley. I have yet to hear back, but I am so hoping that I get it because I love her Christmas books. So, next author that I, I was shocked when she asked me if I wanted these is Denise Hunter. So, she gave me, this one is Sweetwater Gap. This is a standalone. There's two standalones and then two series that she gave me. So, Sweetwater Gap is a standalone, to my knowledge, I think, according to Goodreads. Um, and then this one, Summer by the Tides. This is also a standalone. And then she gave me um, a Bluebell Inn, the... Uh, or Bluebell in the series is Lake Season and then Carolina Breeze. There is a third one coming out this year at some point, but she gave me the first two. And then she gave me, let's see, the four, first four, which I think is all of it, in the Blue Ridge Romance series. So On Magnolia Lane, uh, Honeysuckle Dreams, Blue Ridge Sunrise, and Sweetbriar Cottage. These are the, um, like I said, the... Uh, Blue Ridge Romance series. So that is so exciting. That is eight Denise Hunter books to add to my shelf. She has one I have yet to read, but I've heard so many good things about her. I cannot wait to dive into one of these series. And like four books, I can handle that. Two books, I can definitely handle that. Although I'll probably wait on that series because I hate reading series until they're all out because especially if it's on a cliffhanger, I've got to know. And my memory is such crap that if I read these two and then wait a year to read the next, I'll probably have to reread these two anyway. So I think I'm going to wait and just read the completed series soon. Then the next couple, next two, I think, are still from my sister. And she gave me Feels Like Falling um, by Kristen... Christy Woodsy, oh my goodness, Christy Woodson Harvey. Say that five times fast. That is a tricky name. Um, 
and I have no idea anything about this, but it's blurbed by Mary Kay Andrews, and I really like her for, like, summary reads. So hopefully I can get to this one soon. This would also work, I think, for um, this, the Summer Fling readathon that is going on this month, which I will link my announcement up, th up there or down there or somewhere um, because that this one, I think, is going to be a fun romance. It's also blurbed by Ellen Hildebrand on the back. So good blurbs. I haven't heard, from, heard of this, so if you have, let me know. And then last from her is Sisters by Choice by Susan Mallory. I love Susan Mallory. I've heard this one is a little more women's fiction, and that's right up my alley, so I'm very excited to read this one. My mom, you have probably seen on Zoom In with the Fam, and she mostly does Kindle, um, Kindle Unlimited books, but she has been kind of wanting to physically read lately because she reads a lot in her pool, and the idea of dropping a Kindle into the pool is a lot more scary than dropping a book into the pool. Um, so I think she has been wanting some physical reads for that reason. So she asked um, my sister a while ago to buy her some books, and then she asked me to buy her some books. And so I did. It was, like, wonderful because she is also not a keeper of books, and so she reads them and passes them on. So the first one is Beach Read by Emily Henry. This is going around everywhere. Um, about two authors who are in like their summer homes or something and they switch genres. One, he writes literary fiction, she writes romance, and they switch, I think. Um, I've heard this is a great mix of like romance and more serious and it's just a wonderful book. So I cannot wait to read this one and figure out what all the hype is about. Then the next one is Waiting for Tom Hanks, which if you have watched this channel at all, you know I love this book. I love Tom Hanks. I love Nora Ephron. So this book had me at just really t Tom Hanks. And um, so I love this book. And she is currently reading, not like the movies, um, the sequel to this one. And then she'll give it to me. And so then I will read that. So I'm so excited to have these on my shelf. Then these are the two that I bought. Um, they are two Jill Shalvis books. The Lemon Sisters and The Good Luck Sister. These are both a part of the, um, I'm blanking on the name of the series. Well, these are both part of one of her series. This one is just a little tiny novella, and this one is a is somewhere in the series, maybe number two. I have the rest of the series, so I bought these to fill in. That's another series that I really want to start, but I am such a marathoner that I've got to like clear out my TBR and get ready for like a week or two of just reading that series. And the way I've been reading lately, it's been taking me like two, three, four days to get through a book. And so I really have to commit a chunk of time and I just haven't done it yet. Then the last two are books that I've gotten from the publisher or giveaway. So the first one is Sorry Not Sorry by Sophie Renald. This one just came out July 18th, I believe, um, or maybe the 28th. July 28th is definitely the date. Um, and this one, it just looks so fun in summary. When life gives you limes, make margaritas. And this was sent to me by Forever Publishing. And so thank you so much to them. Um, this is my first physical arc that I have ever received from a publisher. And so when this got sent to me, I was so excited. And I have yet to read it because physical reading is just not happening for me lately if it's not on ebook or audiobook and really even ebooks I've been having Alexa read to me almost always because my mind is just like chaotic um with the two girls being they're two months and then Ainsley just turned two and a half so they're both at very like needy stages and so my mind is always somewhere and then um yeah so just I'm making excuses why I have not read this but I really want to especially in the summer because it just looks so perfectly summery so cannot wait thank you to Forever Publishing I am so excited this will always even if it's a terrible book it will always be special to me because of my first physical arc and then last is a giveaway I won from Lindsay's Little Library. If you have not checked out her channel, please do. She is wonderful. Um, and she did a giveaway. She makes book sleeves. And so she did a giveaway of four or six books and book sleeves. And you couldn't pick which book you wanted, but it was just four random books or however many random books. And she was going to draw that many winners. And same with the book sleeves. It was just random. So the book I got was Daisy Jones and the Six. And I have read this. I read it on audio, and I really enjoyed it. And so I'm excited to have the physical copy because I've heard it's just such a different reading experience reading it physically. And I could imagine it would because it's all interview style. And I love the audiobook. And so um, this will be really fun if I ever want to reread to try a different format. And then with that, I got this adorable book sleeve. I don't have a book sleeve, and especially now, I am carrying around, like, this big old diaper backpack, and so this will fit perfectly, 
and the book fits perfectly. I just was so excited, so excited. And if I could have picked out of them, I probably would have picked these two things. So I'm so thankful. Thank you, Lindsay. Also, I think she, as of today, it's August 1st when I'm filming this, she is very, very close to 4,000 subscribers. <sighs> Yikes. Um, so if you don't subscribe to her, please go do, because she is so close and she deserves everyone. So the other thing I'm going to do in this video, because I think I'm going to try to get this video up today, August 1st, is I'm going to draw my giveaway winner. So if you didn't see it, I am doing a giveaway um, from from Christmas and july -thon of the Winter Street series by Ellen Hildebrand. I love this series so very much, and so I'm so excited to give away a copy. So what I did is I wrote down the names of everyone who commented. All I asked was that you li like, subscribe, and comment and tell me your favorite Christmas book or movie. And so I wrote down the names of everyone who did that in my little chip cup. And um, here, I'll see they're all on little pieces of paper. I'm going to shake it up. Ah, I dropped one. Okay. Shake it up, shake it up. And see who it is. This is so exciting. Um. Oh, great. It is all things equilateral. She is so wonderful. Her and her daughter both have channels and I love it. And like they are mother daughter goals to me because I don't know. Um, I mean, we don't see a ton of their relationship, but they both read. I know they read together. And I just like my goal for my girls is to be as big as reader, uh, as big of readers as I am. And so I cannot wait. Um, her name is Sophie. She's wonderful. Please go check her out. Um, she is on BookTube, Instagram, everywhere. So please go check her out. I will um, link her channel down below. And Sophie, if you see this, um, I'll comment down below or on that video too to let you know and maybe message you somewhere. Um, and I'll send you that series as soon as possible. So thank you guys for watching. If you have read any of the books that I hauled, let me know. Um, the unhaul ones. Oh, I didn't even do the unhaul ones. You guys, oh my goodness, I swear, my brain. Hi, yay, yay. Well, I guess that giveaway is right in the middle. So now let's do the unhaul. There's five books, it'll be quick. The first is Debbie McComer's Christmas in Alaska. This is two books in one. It's um, Mail Order Bride and The Snow Bride, I think. I read them both for Christmas and July thon. Neither are Christmassy at all. Both are like these women who get manipulated and I just don't like it. They're very submissive, weak characters, um, but then have like weird snarkiness that doesn't fit their personality. And I just didn't like either of these, so I'm going to let this one go. Then, um, Twice in a Blue Moon by Christina Lauren. I will link my Christina Lauren author binge down below or somewhere. Um, I just, I could barely get through this one. Didn't like it at all. The cover is so nice. It's like that buttery, and then this is textured, and this is textured. Love the cover, but not the content, so I'm going to be getting rid of this one. Um, then, The Other Side of the Story by Marion Keys. This one I just read, and it's a chunker, and um, I just, I think I'm kind of growing out of her. I'm not really sure. I read one of her memoirs recently, and she was kind of cringy, so I don't know if that tainted this, um, but it's just long, boring, not great, going to pass it on. I have tons of hers on my shelf, and I don't know if I need to reread or just unhaul, or if this one really was just not the best. I don't know. Um, then The Vineyard by Barbara Delinsky. I also read this one recently and just did not care for it, and so I will be passing it on. And then last but not least is a cookbook. Our kitchen came with like a built-in little book nook, or I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be used for, but I have it stocked with bookshelves or book cookbooks, and um, I don't often use them. And so the other night I was like, okay, I don't know what to make. I'm going to meal plan out of cookbooks. And so I grabbed this one and there was like one or two things in the whole book that I wanted to make. And so I think I'm just going to pass it on. I bought this. Um, it is Bob Green's The Best Life Diet Cookbook. And um, I bought this because Oprah and Bob Green are like BFFs, I think. And this Best Life Diet is something she has talked about a lot. And I love Oprah. Um, but I just don't ever see myself really making anything out of this. So I am going to get rid of it and make some space for some new ones, maybe. So that is the unhaul. Five books out, 20 books in. Some are Christmas. Some are already read. I feel okay about it. Let me know if you've read any of the ones I hauled um, and, and if you've read any of the ones I'm unhauling. And let me know if your opinions are the same or different. And that is it. We'll talk later. Thank you for everyone who entered the giveaway. We'll chat next time. Bye.